Well, what's up everybody? November 22nd here. It's getting kind of smoky. We got the 4630 warming up. Not real thrilled, it's only 22 degrees out. Ooh, she's running kind of rough. Something with the fuel pump, it's goofy on this thing. If you press that, uh, it runs all right. So it's warming up. We're going to fix the ripper. We dumped these couple, uh, that part that wide open, I'll show you, that got fixed. We noticed that the cause of this whole thing, let me get out of the wind, the cause of this whole thing <clears throat> was two very small pieces of metal, one on one shank, one on the other shank that we uh, had fixed too, that uh, are part of the springs and help it trip. And uh, what I mean by trip is if there's too much pressure, the shank will trip and come back in, if you've never heard of that. I'll show you that on the ripper when we get over there though. The parts are heavy. We wrestled that wide out part back in there yesterday, but uh, the spring assembly in the arm that goes with that is has to go up higher and it's heavy. It's probably all of 200 pounds, two, I don't know, somewhere between two and 300 pounds. So uh, we're gonna use the loader to set it in. So I'll check back when we get over there. But, uh, here's the piece that was wide open. They must've just cut it off, bent her back. Now we got the spring assembly off too and that was broke, but I'll show you where it was broke here in a second. We're just lowering it on and I need both hands to direct it into place. We got this baby back on, we just gotta pick the ripper up so we can get the uh, spring hooks back in there, but this piece of metal was broken out of this one. I hadn't done it to this, but uh, that's why this one wide out. And why it did that is because this keeps this arm at a lower angle and allows the whole overall shank to trip easier if you get into hard packed ground or catch a rock. Well, when this was up, broken, this was way up here and then it was not allowing it to trip. So then you end up pulling really hard on these shear, shear bolts and or wind this open because you got so much pressure back here because it's not allowing it to trip like it should. So with that piece back in there, should function better, should not uh, cause damage back here as much. And uh, we just gotta get, uh, like I said, pick this thing up so we can hook the springs back in. And this one, we gotta bring the shank. The whole shank's gotta come back up in here and put a new uh, shear bolt in. Two bolts in there. And then the one over here, you could tell it was about ready to do the same thing as that one did to me the other night because the bolts, and maybe you can't tell, the bolt is wide, or not wide, but it's bent. See that on the bottom one, this one here? It's got a little bit of a U-shape to it. So this one is about ready to do it too. And we noticed that this was gone. So we took that off last night and my uncle welded those in. He got a little bigger of a welder and they're both good welders. But he's got a little bit bigger of a welder. So we took it out there this morning, got both of these welded up. And you can see these other ones, they still have their thing in there and there's no damage. Wouldn't you, who would have guessed, huh? So. We're just gonna bolt some stuff back up, tighten the thing, put some pins in up here, tighten this, put the shank in, put those in, pick it up, look it over, maybe uh, grease it up when it's a warmer day. It's still below freezing. It'd be hard to push grease into this thing. So, check back in a second, hopefully. Oh, we had to awaken the beast from its sleeping uh, splendor there. We're gonna pick it up here in a second so we can swing this other. We got the shank, one pin in. The other one's not quite there. If we can pick it up, it'll swing into place. There, you can see we're missing a bolt. And then the other side, that should help us hook those pins. We were able to get the springs on this side. We didn't quite get them over here. They're so close, so close. But yeah, you can see this piece got really beefed up. They uh, completely cut her open, straightened her out, got her back on there. They did a really good job. So. Once we get all of that back in, then we tighten these four bolts on top to pull the springs back up into the right tension. And it uh, should be ready, field ready. But it's a little too cold for ripping today. We might hold off till Monday or Tuesday when it's a little warmer out. But this is that bent uh, shear pin that was right here. You can see it was just a, just a matter of time before that baby was gonna go. So, but everything's back together and uh, probably gonna park it for a few days unless it warms up miraculously possibly Friday or Saturday, but more than likely Monday or Tuesday we'll finish off 
and then it's gonna get cold again. So that's gonna be your only shot Monday and Tuesday. So these are those 360 uh, bullet points. They're sweet. They pull hard, but they do a good job. That's the one thing about uh, this covered with grease down to my down to my knees that. Uh, these ripper shanks here, the, all the moving parts on them, there's a lot of grease on them. But yeah, I'm covered. So. So now you can see what it's supposed to be like. And you can see that this uh, arm sits down because of that piece that's in there. Without that piece, it was sitting about even with that upper piece. And it doesn't allow it to trip as easy. Tripping would be, and it comes back down. If you catch a rock, or catch a hard rock hard uh, dirt, it comes back down. That's tripping, and it wasn't allowing it to do that, and that's why it was shearing bolts and wying itself out. So hopefully we're in good shape now. 